And I think if you just look at maps, the bike maps that we have out there and plan your route accordingly, that you'd be amazed how well you know, developed it is that everywhere you go, there's a good bike path and you don't have to use main arteries. I think that they'd actually be impressed by themselves, you know, to, to start a regimen. Observe traffic laws, that, that's an important part of it too. Don't okay. take unnecessary risks. Um, make sure they've got the right equipment. Okay. And, you know, don't just try to get out there without a helmet, without, because the helmet saved my life twice. Um, within seven weeks of each other, actually. I recommend bike, uh, mountain biking to everybody. Everyone at least has to try this one. How come? Because it's just absolutely, it's one of the funnest things I've ever done. Because I was looking at differences between cyclists and car commuting, I asked cyclists to describe their communication and interaction with other cyclist commuters. There's like this little community of people. The other day when I rode in, there was a guy on the, sitting on the trail changing his tire. So yeah, it's like um, you take care of each other. I said, you, are you doing okay? You know, because I have a phone. Nobody should ever be stranded. I mean, it's friendly. It's a friendly group. Uh, you, you mean on the road? On the road, the yeah. Yeah, there the are commute. actually several people that I see on a regular basis that also um, have offices on Jefferson. Everybody's cordial because everybody's doing the same thing. You know? We have a little group here, the senior cyclists okay. of Albuquerque. We even have dinners once a month, like the last night was our monthly dinner. Uh, like Sally, I'm a member of the senior cyclists. We have about 30 members. Uh, we communicate a lot by email. Uh, we get together three times a week for rides. I, I find that uh, when we when we commute by car, it's uh, kind of just like an extension of our house. It's like our sofa on wheels, and we're we're kind of uh, isolated and buffered from the world around us. When I commute by bicycle, uh, I meet other cyclists. You, you you talk to them, you you meet the pedestrians, and you uh, you speak, and and everyone sees who you are. You're not. Uh, closed in this little metal shell with uh, tinted windows. <laughs> oh, the wind was terrible, yeah, as I walked in and out of the, the car. But a uh, cyclist will really tell you, yeah, that wind, you know, was really strong and really affected my commute or something like that. So I can't really think that a, somebody in a car can quite have that knowledge about how the wind really does affect it. One of the fun moments uh, in traffic, as far as bicycle traffic goes, is when you're maybe on a bicycle path and you come to a kind of a tight section and there's five people that have showed up at the same place at the same moment and you realize, oh my god, it's bicycle traffic. And what does everybody do? They laugh, they say hello. Imagine that same situation in a car. You have five people show up at the same intersection. You're going to get horns, you're going to get middle fingers, you'll get road rage, you might even get a, a, a gun. The final question that I asked cyclist commuters was, what do you think people are missing out on by not trying cycling as an option of getting to work? It, it changes your whole, I, I don't know, your demeanor, your attitude towards work. You feel good, it makes you feel good. And so they're missing out on that. I mean, the Surgeon General says, what, a half an hour of exercise five days a week? Most people um, could commute in a half an hour on their bicycle. For instance, birds and seeing um, what plants are coming on, the whole impact that nature really, you know, I think they're so removed from that. You see what your surroundings more than just getting in traffic and worrying about, you know, can I get in front of that car next to me or, you know, can I get around these people? It's just a, probably a better frame of mind, I think, than, than driving in a car. I think you feel better. There are a lot of resources for it people considering using their bike to get to and from work. One of those resources is ABQ Ride, the bus transit system here in Albuquerque. I spoke to one of the spokesperson, and this is what he had to say. My name is Bobby Cisneros. And who are you with? I work with ABQ Ride, the city of Albuquerque's transit department. Uh, bicyclists, if you're wanting to use ABQ Ride, can take their bike to any bus. Each bus holds three bikes, uh, bikes on their bike rack. The bike racks are very, very easy. Uh, it's pulling the lever, pulling the rack down, lifting your bike on. That's pretty much it. Bike lockers are free. As long as they're available, they just show up. they got to provide their own lock and chains, of course. But if it's open for them, they can use it. We don't okay. charge anything for those things. So another great resource for cyclists within Albuquerque is Bike ABQ. They put on several events throughout the year, but one of the events that I got to visit was Bike to Work Day. I spoke with a spokesperson, and this is what he had to say about the event. 
My name is uh, Miguel Trujillo, and I'm uh, the food stop uh, chief for the uh, bike to work day here at uh, El Pueblo. Gas hit uh, $3 a gallon. There was just an explosion of cyclists on the road. Another explosion is uh, college kids are just riding bikes like, like never before. Once a year in May, what we do is we, we host this uh, little event here where we, we kind of support the, the cyclists who choose to commute to work uh, by bicycle. What every cyclist who comes in, they say every day is bike to work day for them. Uh, new bike maps are usually introduced at the uh, on bike to work day, and we give them uh, uh, some other things like free T-shirts and uh, and some some food to kind of keep them uh, going. So the goal of the final part of this film is to provide you with resources. Now the credits are going to run, and I'm going to include a lot of valuable resources that you can check out and find more information on cycling.